Hi, I'm Nicola Cairncross. Hi, hello. Hey, hi. I'm going to talk to you about success. Yes. Hey, Nicola here. We've had quite an exciting week this week. First of all, Heather and Richard came to stay. Heather's my singing sister and Richard's her partner. And I was very excited about that because they've never been to Stupid before and I was really looking forward to showing them um, all my favourite places. And then uh, about three, they came on Tuesday. Then we had Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Was last night Wednesday night? Yes, it was. And last night we were awakened by lots of hooting, um, lots of banging, lots of shouting. And actually what had happened was that somehow a fire had started up at the... fire engine turned up and uh, lots of local volunteers and everyone was spraying their front gardens and uh, the, the thing is it was really really windy last night so the sparks were going everywhere so we were all just ready to put out any fires that happened in our local vicinity finally got to bed about oh 4 4 30 something like that and slept like a log until about 9 30 and then really struggled to wake up even at that point but we went off for a lovely day out and we went to Limini village which is one of my favorite places and went to Taki's fish restaurant there and I'll put a I'll use a picture of Taki's to um, illustrate this week's vizine and you can see how gorgeous it is there so that's my week and uh, I'm coming back to England on Saturday. It's my daughter Phoebe's birthday today. So happy 23rd birthday, Phoebe. And I'll be back to give you a big old hug and your birthday present on Saturday, okay? Love you. See you soon. So today I want to talk to you about being resourceful when you don't have the right resources or you don't have any resources at all. Um, I want to tell you about our mosquito net adventure. Um, I really wanted to get a mosquito net up for my sister Heather who is um, as neurotic as I used to be about mosquitoes and I bought a very big double bed mosquito net square so it doesn't hang down like that, it hangs like that but it's supposed to come with eight sucker pads that go on the ceiling and of course it I didn't even check the box I didn't even make sure it had everything in it that should so on the first day I unveiled this square luxury mosquito net um, and then we realized that of course there was nothing to hang it to the ceiling with so We've been pondering it for the last couple of days and uh, I took them upstairs to Katerina's supermarket and the upstairs emporium bit sells all sorts of things. We were looking for sucker pads, we were looking for stretchy um, washing lines, we were looking for anything we could use to string this mosquito net off. And right as on our second perambulation around the top part of, of Katerina's, uh, Richard found extendable poles and we thought okay well we might be able to do something with that because the bed itself is a wrought iron bed and it's got you know ex poles at the end and uh, someone had the bright idea that we could extend the poles up as far as we needed them and then um, what are those things called I've completely forgotten what they're called little plastic ties plastic ties they're called and we could plastic tie the poles to the bed at, you know at each end and in the middle of the end of the bed and sure enough we got back and it worked like a dream and the other um, obstacle that we had to face was the revolving ceiling fan because I didn't want to lose that because that's about the only thing that means you get any sleep in the summer so we wanted to get the mosquito net low enough so that the fan could go around over the top of it and yeah it worked brilliantly so they're going to have their first night tonight without Heather worrying about a mosquito going zip next to her ear it's not even the bites it's the noise they make they wake you right up in the middle of the night I tell you and so yeah they're going to try that out and it made me really think that um, when you're in business and when you're in marketing and when you're in life 
and faced with situations you weren't expecting, you have to become resourceful, especially if you don't have the right resources or perhaps you, don't, you can't afford the right resources to do your marketing. You need to think, well, how could I do this if I could find the resources and become more resourceful? And so that's what we did with the Mosquito Net. That's what I did with my Facebook ads account being closed down. And that's what I've had to do. Every time another obstacle comes at you, every time another setback happens, you have to just determine that you are going to go and find a way round it, under it, over, through it, and if the very worst, the worst, you just try and blow it up somehow. Okay, I think that's uh, all I need to say about mosquito nets and resourcefulness. So I hope you have a great week, and I'll let you know what happens in my journey home to England next week. Speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, so on the blog last week, we had um, Own It, episode 178, Mary Daniels, Normal People, Noble Causes. And it was all about um, people working in the social sector and how passionate people can get and how they can um, help other people and get great meaning in their lives from doing that. And uh, Mary was a fantastic interviewee. She was really good fun and she gave us a lot of really interesting insights into the world of um, noble causes, in fact. And on VZ66, which was last week, I was talking about catching up, please, will you? And I was saying about how some companies are only just getting to grips with marketing on, on, via website, via social media, via email marketing, and how already it's moving on very quickly from that. And you've really got to get to grips with mobile marketing, which is a subtle difference because when 85% of people are on these mobile devices and iPads and tablets and things like that, it's a whole different ball game than if they're actually sitting at a desktop or a laptop. So uh, that was all about how you need to catch up, even if you're only just getting started and um, yeah the week before week 65 was all about what to do when everything goes wrong and I've had some really good feedback from that and uh, last night was a case in point everybody here you know all the local volunteers came out everybody came out of their houses everybody was sh you know shepherding people who were uh, not able to to get themselves away from the fire and uh, our local guy Elias Honsias was driving people around who needed to be driven around and his daughter was up here organizing all the volunteers it was a real family effort and uh, it was really fantastic to watch so yeah so uh, when everything goes wrong just get your wartime spirit out and and see what you can do practically speaking and I'll speak to you next week <laughs>